In tab 22.1, Tableau have enhanced the data model capabilities so you can swap root tables and move the tables around the logical and physical layers around the view without having to rebuild the whole entire data model. Here I have a data model that's been pre-built. You can actually follow along with this data source. If you head to the URL on Tableau's website, you can actually download this exact data set. I'm actually using the bookshop.tdsx and the bookshoplibraries.tdsx. You can do this with either, but the bookshoplibraries.tdsx is a much bigger data model and it's exactly what I'm using here. And what you can now do in 22.1 is if you realize that you've built out this whole entire intricate model and you'd like to move these tables around, it's much easier to do that. Check this out. Let's say that I realize that the publisher table should actually be my root table. I can right click on the publisher and go to the option here to swap with root and Tableau will look at the data model and it will literally move everything around for you to get the publisher as a root table. Essentially, you're swapping the things around and notice that it keeps the relationships relatively speaking, exactly where everything else was supposed to be. I don't know the full terminology for that, but book is still related to everything that was related to it in the right way. Catalog sales are still related to edition, which is related to the publisher in exactly the right way. It's looked at all the relationships and kept everything in context, which means you still have a working data model when you do this, saving so much time, especially if you've built out a huge data model. Now, let's say you want to undo this. Let's say you want to move it back. Well, of course, you can just go back to book swap with root, which is going to swap, swap it with the publisher and everything goes back to how it was before. So this is really, really handy, but it doesn't stop there. You can actually improve this. Let's say that we realize that the addition table should be related to the awards. I can right click addition and this time go to the move to option. And you can see here that I actually have the other uh, logical layers that I can look at and I can actually send it over to the award and it moves everything related to addition after addition to that new place when it moves addition across. So now everything is related in the right setup. So what this sort of feature is doing is it's looking at your whole data model and bringing everything related to that logical layer with it when it moves. So this is a really nice quality of life improvement. It's gonna save a lot of time. Most data models aren't this complex. Most data models do tend to be a little bit simpler. I'm just gonna move this back to the book um, and you'll see a, a sort of a nice feature here actually. Uh, where it remembers the relationship that was set. So when you move something across and it doesn't work, if you move it back, it's remembered that relationships. And for the record, you can view any relationship by clicking on the line. This used to be called the noodle. Uh, Tablet doesn't really use that terminology anymore. But when you click on these noodles, you actually get a description of that relationship just down here. They've changed the interface a little bit in the previous version. And this is nice because it gives you a little bit more context of what's changing. And of course, you've got this nice little drop down so you can sort of zoom around the whole entire logical and physical setup in a really, really nice and easy to see way. So this is a really, really nice thing to sort of look at. You've got your relationships at the top, logical tables at the bottom, and it's super smooth. So um, this is there's not really much more to it than this. You can swap them around. Hurrah, this is great get using it. Um, but yeah, absolutely. The data model is making lots and lots of strides and it's good to see this uh, finally in Tableau. Um, check out my other videos on 22.1. And uh, if you're not subscribed, join the family. We are 25,000 subscribers. We're on our way to 50. Most people who watch these videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you're one of those people, help us out, help us reach that target. I'll catch you in the next video.